We all know that Janice Combs and her son Diddy have always had one of the tightest mother and son relationships in Hollywood. And as Diddy's world begins to crumble, people can't help but wonder how much she may have known or may have been involved in Diddy's dealings. I'm not making an excuse because I believe in those people shouldn't have went through what they went through. But at the same time, judging Puffy, he might have some shit going on when he was young. You know, Mama ran a whole house. There was all kind of activities in there. And he was there when he was young. He might not, some of those men might not want to teach him how to draw or make like there's something else flying in that land, that land besides that paper plane, you know? <laughs> is definitely not looking good for Diddy's mom fam. Allegedly, Janice Combs could be implicated in Diddy's case because the feds allegedly have receipts which prove she was complicit in Diddy's crimes. And I'm talking about her supposedly being the mastermind of everything. Yeah, my mom's is gorgeous. Well, let me introduce you to my mom called Ma Dukes. Hi. She's getting a drip with me. She's hydrating. What's up, Ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Mom, freshly dipped, though. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, Janice was rushed to the hospital after she complained about having chest pains. At the time when she was ill, Diddy was in Miami, and at his mom's request, he went to the hospital to be by her side. Well, she did say that she believed the pain was related to stress over her son's legal issues, including the federal investigations and multiple civil lawsuits. As a result, the doctors kept her hospitalized for further testing and observation, and sources said that Diddy was there with her because he's her comfort and everything, as she is to him. No further information was given about her condition, but if the chest pains were caused by Diddy's legal issues, I can only assume that they've gotten worse since her son's arrest. Let's just say that not so many people are feeling bad about her situation because people actually believe that Janice is partly the reason why Diddy turned out the way he did. I mean, have you seen that video that has been making rounds of Diddy and his mom kissing on the lips? In the same video, Diddy was also saying that his mother is single and ready to mingle and because of that he takes her to strip clubs then if you look closely you will notice that diddy and his mom are hooked to iv fluids the same thing the feds said happened after the freak offs but before we even get further into this we've had a bunch of people saying that we probably need to look more into how diddy grew up to see if there's any connection between his upbringing and the charges he's facing so i did a lot of digging and i can tell you for a fact that diddy's upbringing was messed up okay for starters the streets have always said that diddy's dad was a and a dealer back in the day, but he was unalived when Diddy was pretty young. Being that my um my father, he was when I was three years old. I don't have like a lot of memories of my father. Um, you know, they say you know you can't miss something you never had. So that that's only a little a little ways, right? You know. Um, there's definitely been times as I, I've gotten older that I've missed my father and you know his presence not being there and having somebody not to ask like manly advice um, and just things that you would ask your father also but also things that you would celebrate with him. See, while Diddy was talking about the memories he had of his father, he did confirm that his dad was a dealer. And to the best of his knowledge, there were only two ways out of such a lifestyle. He also said that he understands that he's got his father's DNA, which he said gave him his hustler's mentality. But folks are saying that he got so much more than that from his father. My father was a hustler. You know, he was a hustler. And um, so I learned early in life there was only two ways out of that dead in jail. And, um, you know, maybe work that even harder. So sometimes you can't just answer why you know, things happen. But I definitely think the route that I went on, staying out the streets and, you know, hitting my books and trying to be somebody, um, I think he played a role in that. Even if we don't know our parents, we, we still have their DNA in us. You know, we have their genes. And um, I have this hustler's mentality, his hustler's spirit, his drive, his determination, you know, his swag. Um, and you know, 
He's gonna be on my mind a lot today. You know what I'm saying? On my father's name was Melvin Combs. You know, Melvin's son, Sean Combs. Basically, what people are saying is that maybe Diddy learned some of the things he is being accused of from his father. Because, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Something else I came across while digging is that Diddy may have been a target in his all-boys Catholic school at Mount St. Michael's. He was an altar boy the whole time, and two priests were charged with S.A. one year after Diddy graduated. Allegedly, Diddy is one of the people who may have gone through the priest's nasty hands. Well, after Diddy's dad died, his mother was scared to stay in Harlem for fear of any of them getting hurt. And because of that, she relocated to Mount Vernon and wanted to give Puff a great upbringing. Diddy's dad had street money saved, but that only lasted so long. And when that ran out, she had to find ways to survive. In fact, if my memory serves me correctly, Janice once did an interview years ago with Diddy sitting next to her and said she worked as a bartender who had to wear lingerie to keep Diddy in the safe neighborhood in Mount Vernon and to keep him in private school. That interview was not on YouTube anymore, but I remember Diddy's demeanor changed when she said that. I think Janice also said that the job paid well compared to her job cleaning houses. But here's the thing, allegedly, to supplement what she was already earning, Janice started a p house where all kinds of things happened. And according to Suge Knight, maybe the things Diddy witnessed going on may have messed him up even further. I'm not making an excuse because I believe in those people shouldn't have went through what they went through. But at the same time, judging Puffy, he might have some shit going on when he was young. You know, Mama ran a house. There was all kind of activities in there. He was there when he was young. He might not, some of those men might not want to teach him how to draw. Or make, like there's something else flying in that landed, that landed besides that paper plane. You know? <laughs> you know, one thing people have been saying consistently is that chances are pretty high that Janice knew exactly what was happening with Diddy and did nothing about it. As a matter of fact, we have several people who say that they believe she excused his terrible behavior. Otherwise, how do you explain Diddy getting away with everything he did while he was still in school? I mean, there were several women who attended university with Diddy who told Rolling Stone that they saw signs of a controlling personality decades ago. The women who went to school with him said there were incidents involving unwanted touching and fits of rage on campus by Diddy and women he was interested in. One woman actually claimed that she kept as far away as possible from him after he caressed her back without warning. And that's not all, guys. Another former student alleged that Diddy would repeatedly harass a young lady by tapping on the window of her English class to get her to skip class. Then another anonymous woman said that she witnessed Diddy outside of their dormitories screaming like a maniac for his girlfriend to come outside. The source added that shortly after, Diddy was heard and seen jumping his then-girlfriend outside with his belt. The woman also added she was trying to defend herself a little bit. She was crying and we were telling him, get off of her. We were screaming for her. Another former student also said that Diddy started acting like a maniac after she called him out for cutting the cafeteria line. And these are just some of the incidents, by the way. There were more similar stories from his days back on campus and people are saying that there's no way his mother didn't know. That aside, when we consider how Diddy acted towards his mom, we know that she knew her son had rage issues. Didn't Gene Deal say not so long ago that he witnessed Diddy cursing at his mom and threatening her like trash in front of people? He even had to threaten and Diddy and tell him never to treat his mother like that ever again, especially not in front of him. You understand? When he cursed out, we was getting in the limousine. This is when the office was on 19th Street and Fifth Avenue. He said, didn't I tell you to stay out of my business? He was talking to his mother. And I said, boy, let me tell you something. If I ever hear you cuss your mother again, I'm a you. You ain't gonna bring nothing to bad luck to us. Don't you ever cuss your mother again. Gene, but I told her to stay out of my business. You wouldn't have no business if it wasn't for her. I'm not playing with you, man. Now you apologize to her. Now the very same Gene Deal also said that he was told a story about how Diddy slapped his mom. Well, I spoke to Kirk Burrows and uh, he told me some shit, <laughs> bro. <laughs> It's some, it's some things that I didn't even know about way back in the past. You know, like when the City College tragedy was going on and everything, and Diddy was on suicide watch. You know, Kirk Bros was like, yo man, I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? And Kirk Bros said, yeah. I just thought because of what he was going through with the, you know, 
the tragedy, sh it was like, I, I, I was stuck on stupid for a minute, but he was like, yeah, I thought that he would grow out of it or it was just because all the sh he was going through when he slapped his own mother. In addition, I have even heard people say that Janice was the brains behind many of the things that Diddy is being charged with. Which brings us to why the feds may be going for her as well. When Diddy was arrested, the list of indictments included the freak off events and parties which are described as elaborate and produced performances that Combs arranged, directed, during and often electronically recorded. The indictment also stated that Diddy was luring women in by promising them true romantic connections. Then after gaining their trust, he allegedly used force, threatened them with force or coercion to have them engage in lengthy intercourse with male workers. Afterwards, the women would allegedly receive IV fluids to help them physically recover from them. Now tell me you don't find it super sus that Janice was hooked to IV fluids right next to her son. Did they need IV fluids after a freak-off party? What exactly does Janice know about the things that were taking place at the freak-offs? Well, you know what? Even even with everything that has been said about Diddy, Janice still insists that he's not a monster. She actually released a statement saying she was profoundly saddened by the allegations her son faces and asserted that he deserves a chance to prove his innocence in court. She also said in the statement that it is heartbreaking to see her son judged not for the truth but for a narrative created out of lies. While giving her statement, she also referenced that hotel video of Diddy and Cassie saying, I'm not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten rough with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Then she continued and said, sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when the truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side. In addition to all this, she also suggested that people were making false allegations in order to secure a quick payday after seeing how her son settled the first lawsuit. And she also suggested that the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute her son, adding that the injustice has been unbearable for their family. Janet also said that the worst part of this ordeal is watching her beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. Then she further called upon the public, as well as her son's fans and supporters, not to rush to judgment, saying, my son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. It sure looks like she was trying to gather sympathy for her son, but the question is, did she achieve that? The other question is, was she complicit like people have been saying? Do you think that Janice is guilty given what we already know about about her past, drop your thoughts in the comments section below.